Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's still Thursday the 9th of January and in this video I'm going to be talking about the controlling of the media that is now happening. As you are all aware, this huge shift in change that Harry and Meghan want to implement but haven't yet actually signed it off with Buckingham Palace also focuses on their relationship with the media. Now if you have a look at sussexroyal.com, incidentally, this website was also made by the same people that made the TIG. Hmm, bit of a kicker there, huh? I reckon the TIG's coming back, by the way. So in the middle of all of this gumph on their website, it was very much focused on their relationship with the media, or rather the war on the media that they seem to have. They're basically withdrawing from the Royal Rota. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, the Royal Rota is a system which allows British newspapers, television and radio organisations to cover the work in recognition of the monarchy being a publicly funded organisation. UK media are currently entitled to cover their engagements, that's Harry and Meghan's, in an impartial manner without control from royal officials. But now it seems that the Sussexes are now intended to only offer access to specifically invited media and dispense news via their own communication and social media channels, i.e. they'll probably get a Twitter account and their much-loved... <laughs> You're right. Instagram account. So what they're doing is they're cutting off the royal reporters and if you are looking at Twitter at the moment you can see that majority of the royal reporters are pretty much miffed at the moment. They, as well as no doubt a lot of people and staff in Buckingham Palace, feel like they have been completely stabbed in the back. What this effectively means is that Harry and Meghan will have complete control over what we hear about. They don't want it reporting on, they just simply don't announce it. What they said on their website was, how will the Duke and Duchess of Sussex handle media relations in the future? In the spring of 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be adopting a revised media approach to ensure diverse and open access to their work. This adjustment will be a phased approach as they settle into the new normality of their updated roles. This updated approach aims to engage with grassroots media organisations and young up-and-coming journalists, invite specialist media to specific events engagement to give greater access to the cause-driven activities, widening the spectrum of news coverage, provide access to credible media outlets focused on objective news reporting to cover key moments and events, continue to share information directly with the wider public via their official communications channels, no longer participate in the Royal Rota system. They further the dig to the media by saying that the British royal correspondents are regarded internationally as credible sources of both work of the members of the royal family as well as their private lives. This misconception propels coverage that often carried by other outlets around the world, amplifying frequent misreporting. Regrettably, stories that may have been filed accurately by royal correspondents are also often edited or rewritten by media editorial teams to present false impressions. They have waged war on the press yet again, and this is via their sussexroyal.com. Now, by controlling the media in this way, what they're effectively doing is locking down what happens and how the news that they want to be represented is controlled. There's a problem with this. This has been seen as an act of war on the tabloids and the tabloids aren't very happy with this. If they think that they've got off lightly so far, well, they don't because they think they've been absolutely slated. They haven't seen anything yet. If the control is cut off from the tabloids, what is going to happen, do you think? Because I know it's going to drive the interest in stories even further. 
multiplying it by 20 and the media hype and interest will be astronomical, which will make the press even more aggressive in pursuit to obtain the stories. So why are they doing it? They're doing it so they can control the narrative. They think that they have been a victim of bullying. They think that they have been a victim of racism, of aggressive manipulation of editorial stories. And I actually think they've got off quite lightly because nobody has really delved into Meghan Markle's past. Before Harry, her past was a little bit of an enigma. And it's my personal belief that quite a lot of it has been scrubbed from the internet. It's now also come out that this whole thing was catapulted and the catalyst was, in fact, the Christmas Day speech from the Queen. Can you remember that there was no picture of Meghan and Harry? It was just the heirs to the throne. There wasn't Louis. There wasn't Charlotte. It was a nice way to represent the new decade to show the reigning monarchs and those in the direct line to the throne. It's also been suggested that the picture that was released of the four monarchs, the Queen, Prince Charles, William and George, enraged them even further. I don't understand the issue with it. And if this is what the tantrum has been all about, then Harry, you're a perpetual child. It seems to me that this has been a complete knee-jerk reaction because they have not been given what they want. All the news media is now saying that Buckingham Palace, they knew that they weren't happy, but they were trying to figure out a way that they could move forward within their roles and also protect the monarchy and also the reputation with regards to the public. Because let's face it, Harry and Meghan have had a pretty shocking year with regards to the public relations and media scrutiny. So perhaps what you've got to understand is the monarchy is an archaic institution, but it's loved and it's almost military in the way that it's run. Things don't change overnight, but systems are there in place to protect the monarchy at all cost. And what Harry and Meghan have now done has completely obliterated it shaken it from its foundations and I can imagine there are a lot of crisis talks going on. Poor Catherine, it's her birthday, happy birthday. But the media is saying that they were, they were told to wait, they were told that this would be ironed out, let's get everything in place before we make a statement, don't be hasty. Everything needs to be discussed and arranged. Unfortunately, Harry and Meghan literally threw a massive tantrum, threw their toys out the pram and dropped their website and hurled the royal family into chaos yet again. What happens now, I don't know. The majority of the people that are talking about it in the UK are almost certain that if they are going to be non-senior working royals, then they cannot hold their titles. It's as simple as that. They cannot profit from their titles. I don't think that will be allowed. And I think if that is allowed, then the roars of Republic will be astounding. That's all I'm going to say. As to what happens now, we're still waiting on an update from Buckingham Palace. I don't think that will be today. It may be late today because I know that they're having crisis talks at the palace. But the general consensus is just dumbfoundedness, to be perfectly honest. Why have they done this? Why haven't they spoken to the Queen? And why on earth is this happening? Why would they shoot themselves in the foot? Because by winding up the press even more, it just means they're going to go harder, aren't they? You can actually expect to see more and more negative stories about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry now coming out in the press. It will be no holds barred. And do you know what? I, for one, will look forward to that because there's a lot of unanswered questions in her past that I would like somebody to look into because I've tried. I draw blanks. What do you all think of this not being included in the royal rota and controlling the media? What do you think they're going to gain? Well, we all know what they're going to gain. They're going to gain control. But do you think that's going to backfire on them and therefore make the stories that are out there more worthwhile to the tabloids because they'll know they're going to get more money? 
and they're going to be a bit more aggressive with them in the pursuit to obtain the stories. If the interest is intense enough, there's big money to be made there. It's going to be very interesting. Do you think that it was the picture of the reigning and future monarchs that was the catalyst that made Harry and Meghan have a bit of a tantrum? It's a bit more than a bit of a tantrum, isn't it? All right, huge, big, fat strop. Or do you think it was a long time coming and it had to come sooner or later? And poor Catherine, what do you reckon? Crisis talks on her birthday? What fun. I hope they've got champers. You know, everything's all right with champers, isn't it? As always, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Thank you to everyone that has donated to my channel. I'm overwhelmed with your generosity and kindness. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.